Hello everyone, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics. We're doing a video series on live streaming, and uh, maybe I can just, uh, I'll go over it in a second, but this is the live streaming equipment video series here, um, part of the video series. So let's go ahead and get started. So in this video series, we're talking about all the things that you need to know to learn how to live stream, whether you're doing um, live streaming for making marketing videos, doing micro streaming, or you're doing live events, or you're doing any type of live streaming. We're talking about all the different kind of tips and tricks of how to uh, get started. And uh, we talked about introduction, now we're doing the live streaming equipment. The next video is live streaming software, which we're breaking up into free versus paid software. We're going to talk about live streaming corporate events, live streaming concerts, and then live streaming a webinar, which we do every Friday, actually. So um, what do you need equipment-wise to get started, like bare bones? And I kind of just threw some prices in here, uh, just budgetary. Um, you know, these prices could fluctuate in so many different ways. But you need a computer or some type of uh, hardware. You know, there's a lot of different pieces of hardware out there that we'll look at. Um, like a TriCaster or a live streaming box. Um, there's a lot of different things, but you need some type of computer or processor. You need some type of software, whether it's vMix or Wirecast or XSplit or open source broadcasting software, all of something there. You need at least one camera, if not two or more, and then some type of audio device. I'm using a lapel microphone right now, um, but there's a whole bunch of different uh, devices out there that you could use. Um, so a lot of stuff there. Uh, that's the basic four things that you have to have. Uh, the one thing I didn't throw on there, but it's obvious, is an internet connection and then a CDN. So YouTube Live is a free one. Uh, we will have a video. We do already have a video review on a bunch of different CDNs that you can use. So I'll add that to the playlist. But those are like the main things that you need. So when you're looking at a processor or a computer, a processor being like a vMix Go, that's $9,000 touchscreen, all in one inclusive system. Uh, there's TriCasters, a TriCaster Mini is like a $10,000 piece of equipment that does it all. Or you can actually use, I'm using right now, my laptop to do all of this. So you can just use a laptop. Now if you are going to be using your own computer, and we're going to go into this a little bit in the software as well, but you want to use a nice graphics card, okay? Um, to be able to handle multiple microphones or multiple cameras or multiple video feeds, it dumps a lot of the processing onto the GPU. So you want to have a nice graphics card, and you want to make sure, even if you have a nice graphics card, that Windows is using it. Um, so there's a lot of different situations here we'll talk about just really quickly. One is a lot of applications have two versions, a regular application and an X64 application. The X64 version allows the application to use more than four gigabytes of RAM. So that's one thing to look at. Also, you need to go into your NVIDIA graphics card if you have one and select, approve the programs that you want it to use. Um, so if you were using Wirecast or vMix, you want to go in there and say, hey, by default, use my graphics card, my high prop performance graphics card, when this application is being used. Um, so that's just a little tip there. But uh, you got your computer, the processor, a nice graphics card, and, and that solves the computer issue, which could be anywhere from $1,000. You know, I, I've gotten away with $1,500 computers with an i7, a newer i7, um, or you know, it could be even something newer. Um, it could be $3,000 to $5,000 computer. Who knows? Then you got to get some software. In the next video, we're going to dig deeper into the software, but there's some free versions out there, open source broadcast software, XSplit. And then there's some paid software. So we're going to do a review of these two versus each other and these two versus each other, uh, the paid ones versus the free ones. You, obviously, you get what you pay for. Um, you'll know if, you want, if, you, if you're doing uh, you know, a professional broadcast why you might want to spend the extra money, and we'll talk about that. But in general, open broadcast software is open source, so you have to do a lot yourself to really get it started. Technically, you can do anything, but you really have to be a programmer to get it all done. XSplit is somewhere in the middle. Um, it's, there's some great features, but you also will run up to some walls, depending on what you're trying to do. And then Wirecast and vMix are for the professionals um, who are like, you know, live streaming and have, have a budget in mind uh, and you know, might not, need, not have to want to do all that grunt work open source wise and want to really get started right away with some powerful software. So that's 
basically a little overview. We're going to have another video on that. You also need a camera. So obviously we, we suggest our PTZ Optics camera so you can pan, tilt, and zoom. Uh, the nice thing about having two cameras is you can switch between them. So whether you're doing sports or an event or different things, if you have two cameras, you have one on your, um, your main um, situation and then another one uh, on your next shot and then you fade between them. So the pan, tilting, and zooming, you can get different spots and then pan and fade in between the two. Uh, and you need some type of microphone and uh, it's going to be different. This is like the hardest thing actually and it's the most important is to get the audio right. So you're going to need a good microphone. Um, w maybe we'll do a video with one of my engineers just on selecting the right audio. But in general, um, you know, you, you need to have good audio pickup and you, this is the one place that everybody fails. I, I do it personally myself until I finally got this lapel mic. Um, but you got to have good audio and you need a microphone, at least in one microphone. So that's it everybody. That, that is our introduction to live streaming equipment. Next we're going to do live streaming software and then we're just going to keep trucking along on this playlist so that you guys can skip around and choose whatever you want. But thank you for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like these videos and they're uh, important to you. Uh, we have some free virtual sets below and then some cool um, video tutorials and tips and live streams and stuff that you guys can check out as well. Thanks guys. Bye.